Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 10th of February comes to you from London. And uh, we start by looking at the dollar. Of course, the big news uh, for markets for the last couple of weeks really has been the coronavirus. Um, and it'll be very interesting because tomorrow we will see probably over a thousand deaths. We've already seen um, a, a greater number of deaths than SARS. Um, and uh, obviously it's, a, it's a, 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 a real crisis for anyone that's involved. Um, but tomorrow we'll probably see those numbers going over a thousand deaths and uh, that will be um, a, a significant thing I think was just that will be be the headlines tomorrow whether that will affect markets um, or markets are already pricing that in it's hard to say but we are seeing the dollar really strengthening here bullish medium term now really really clear on the chart so that's the dollar really has broken um, to four or five month highs and that trend last week really clear um, so the dollar strength is the theme at the moment uh, and euro weakness with well, euro is up s uh, slightly this morning but uh, it is bearish on all three time frames so bearish um, bearish 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 uh, and looking at the Japanese yen normally the safe haven but there's an Asian element here this is dollar yen of course dollar strength is is the dominating factor here and, and uh, we are just seeing the yen slowing down here but uh, interesting um, the, the yen is also bullish uh, as well, which is uh, normally a, uh, the risk trade measure. Uh, looking at sterling, sterling weakening against that uh, strengthening dollar, short term bearish, medium term just starting to come down. We're seeing downside targets on the uh, charts there, so uh, sterling looking weak. And against the euro, uh, sterling is actually just looking fairly flat at the moment. And against the Swiss franc, we are seeing also. Uh, sterling just slowly deteriorating there. Uh, taking a look at the um, uh, Bitcoin chart, uh, we did break ten thousand uh, uh, dollars yesterday, um, but we're back, uh, just coming back below the cloud on the price. But uh, Bitcoin above ten thousand uh, dollars looks again likely. That recovery now continuing in Bitcoin, looking quite strong. Uh, taking a look at the uh, S and P five hundred index, we see here. Um, uh, the S&P is actually uh, uh, had a, a pretty strong week last week. It shrugged off a lot of the uh, the uh, coronavirus concerns and did actually manage to make new highs. Does seem to be hitting some resistance now, just turning it around, and so it'll be significant to see how we uh, fare this week. The Nasdaq actually looking also clearly bullish and and making a really uh, strong week last week, and the Dow um, was down one percent on Friday, but still. Um, uh, just struggling to break new to highs there and the Russell 2000 actually um, also just struggling to break t new highs and of course the 2018 still hangs over us there. Uh, the futures this morning are very flat so no real heads up on which way the US market is going to open. Uh, both the S&P future and the E-mini um, relatively flat so it'll be a case of waiting to see how the futures develop through the day um, and of course the, uh, when we see Wall Street open um, at 9.30 US time we'll start to see um, uh, wh how the market's taking the coronavirus into its stride. Uh, looking at FTSE it's down a third of a percent this morning uh, it hasn't managed to make new highs uh, and the mid cap's also down a a uh, quarter of a percent also struggling to make new highs. The DAX down 0.3% and the CAC current uh, down 0.37%. So um, we're just seeing uh, European markets struggling there. Asian markets, as one might expect, a bit more heavily hit. Uh, Japan down 0.7%. Hang Sen down 0.6%. Uh, this chart not looking good. The failure to make a new high there and, and then falling below the cloud, that is starting to look bearish long term. Medium term, we're just prices breaking the cloud. A little bit of recovery last week, but uh, just it's, it's just struggling really to um, convincingly move higher. Of course, that's no big surprise for Hong Kong markets. Uh, the the Chinese market, the Shanghai index was up again today. A lot of intervention from the Chinese government, so that is helping the market. It's just a case of whether it can manage to get to new highs and. Given the um, the news flow in coronavirus, it's hard to see, coronavirus. It's hard to see how it will do that. Uh, the Indian market down two thirds of a percent. Uh, again, just struggling to make new highs. And the Aussie market um, was pretty heavily hit last week. Obviously, Australia being quite resource heavily uh, has struggled there as well. In terms of commodities, Brent crude lower. It's been probably the worst. Um, uh, result from coronavirus, uh, Chinese demand for crude oil 
uh, well down and looking at WTI we're also just we were below $50 momentarily and of course that's pretty key psychologically important level. Um, US NAT gas below $1.80 and breaking down here as well looking bearish uh, and the demand for global gas prices now um, being a real factor. Gold prices up about a quarter of a percent this morning so we would expect gold to be a beneficiary of uh, this sort of crisis and we are just seeing gold uh, looking stronger again there and silver also uh, looking a little bit better there too. Uh, and US 10-year yields um, these were breaking quite a lot lower last week and we saw we did have a recovery towards the end of the week but we're falling away again this 150 level just keeps coming back to haunt uh, US 10-year yields uh, so we did see a recovery there on US job numbers but uh, we've uh, lower there as well um, today and back into bearish territory short term and G German bond prices the Bund future actually are starting to look a bit more bearish uh, bullish again as well as a result um, taking a look at the individual stocks now um, we start just looking at the world indices this data coming to you from Yahoo Finance my previous screen was Thomson Reuters or um, Meta Stock Zenith CSC of red here especially in Asia um, taking a look at the Dow 30, the worst performer on Friday uh, was Caterpillar, down 2.8%. Uh, uh, exports being affected there with coronavirus, probably. Verizon, more locally uh, based um, US business, looking stronger, um, although the chart is really struggling to push and break out there. Taking a look at the NASDAQ, uh, we had only around about a, a, a quarter of performers up. Amazon was a really key one uh, last week, breaking to new highs. So that's really significant, that breakout on Amazon. That's um, really like a, a 15, 16 month high. So we are just seeing there that breakout on Amazon looking quite key. Uh, and if we look to the uh, the downside, we did have some quite big fallers. Take two interactive down 11%, Verisign down 5%. So we see, are still seeing some stocks falling out of bed, but on the whole, um, this is results driven more than um, the, the, the overall sentiment. In the Aussie market, we did have some stocks up. JB Hi-Fi, they were up 11%. So that's looking uh, a stellar chart there. On the downside, we had Borrel Limited, they were down 11%, so that chart not looking at all good. And then in India, just a quick look at the Nifty 50, uh, this uh, data obviously coming from Yahoo Finance, UPL um, up 5%, and on the downside, if we look at the downside here, we see Z Entertainments down a further 8%. That chart has been a real struggle over quite some time. Taking a look now at uh, the European markets, we start by looking at the UK market uh, and NMC Health uh, have been a, um, a really bad faller of late. We're up this morning, but it really doesn't uh, give any respite for uh, shareholders. Smurf at Kappa, um, Irish uh, business uh, actually breaking higher. Here we see the live prices coming in from uh, Yahoo Finance. And if we look at uh, BT Group there, um, we see they're just pushing lower as well. On the um, on the downside, we see Whitbread, they're down 2.68%, EasyJet down 2.2%. Uh, so we are seeing stocks being, um, a number of stocks being hit there as well. Uh, looking at the 250 in uh, the UK, we see Microfocus, they're up 1.45%. Chart doesn't look good at all. CAS Minerals, they're up 1.4%. Uh, but again, the chart hasn't been great. Uh, a lot of resource stocks been hit in, uh, this year so far. On the downside, we see here um, that we've got uh, Future uh, PLC, they're down uh, 4%, having had a really good run the last few years, just breaking down now, so that's quite key as well. Taking a look at the Euro stocks 50, uh, we start seeing the leaders tend to be the banks. We're seeing Banco Bilbao, they're up 1%, Daimler up 1%. Here we see the live pricing coming in from Yahoo. And uh, if we look at the downside, uh, we see Sanofi, they're down 1%. So the chart's still looking good though, so that's quite key. That's it for uh, today. Until next time, happy charting. See you then.